the Made in America team is back, reporting on ways to create jobs here at home. Americans are constantly being told we can't compete with workers overseas on wages or on engineering prowess. But tonight, One American Town shows us how to do it and how to win. And the Made in America captain is back. David Muir is here. David. Diane, we had so much fun traveling to this American town. It's been six months making its pitch, even traveling overseas, to convince a global giant to build their new high-tech factory here in America. They promised American know-how and a town willing to educate an entire workforce. And they have. For more than a year now, we've been on this Made in America journey, but this was the first time we've been told we needed to see this from the sky. Lifting off to get a view of a 21st century factory bringing a tiny American town back to life. And right there, carved out of the woods in front of us, the new factory. What was here before when you used to fly over? Nothing. In fact, this factory could fit six football fields inside. More importantly, it now fits 1,300 new jobs. Look at the brand new parking lots, not an empty space in sight. And on the ground from Main Street to the high school, everyone talking about the new jobs. How many of you all hope to land a job? These high school students now training for the factory, their parents ahead of them. So your dad was out of work. Her father already hired, this student's mother trying next. All of them vying for the one thing now famous in this town, those white suits. How do I look? You look good. In this training lab, half of the class already hired. And what will they make? microchips. Look at the computer DNA stamped right into those circles, powering everything from our smartphones to our laptops to our electronics. These new workers are ready for that factory, and so were we. But not only was that white suit needed, this time they had to be brand new sneakers, the footsies, the mask, about to be given rare access to the clean room at the new factory, where they make those microchips. It's basically 10,000 times cleaner than a typical operating room in a hospital. 10,000 times cleaner. A tiny speck of dust can doom these intricate circuits. Inside, we're under yellow lights to keep the chips from being exposed. And on the ceiling, we couldn't miss this. Those robotic boxes racing overhead. You can see these pods here hanging from the ceiling all through the factory. Six miles a day, they run along the factory ceiling. Global Foundries looked at sites all over the world, Europe as far away as Singapore. But they chose Malta, New York. So how did this little American town beat out the world? What is it about the American know-how? I think there is something unique uh, about the American worker. They point to education. 17 schools now funneling in a workforce tailor-made to make the chips. American brain power, they say, combined with our high-tech machinery. Americans producing far more and far faster than their overseas counterparts. You can see what you really look like here. (laughs) Raymond Stone back to work supporting his family after a year laid off. Joshua Alexander back to. We had major traffic jams just because there were so many people trying to get to work. So many traffic jams in their town, they had to put in new traffic circles. But you won't get complaints from a town coming back to life. In fact, so many heard we'd been there, they started sending us videos. Hi, David. From the town tavern to the grocery store. Our sales have increased more than 30%. To the salon, all grateful their tiny American town took on the world and won. Got to love that town. I brought my white suit back to the studio here, Diane, to show you tonight. Zipper and all still intact. But, you know, these white suits are coveted because every one of them is a new job. 1,300 already. They plan to hire hundreds more. New job, symbol of victory and ingenuity. And the schools all got together to educate up everybody. 17 all together. All right. And later in the week, we're going to take on Shark Tank. You've heard about this, Diane. We were talking about this. This gentleman who went on the show determined to make his product Mm -hmm. made in America. The judges told him to go overseas. He said no, walked off the show, but our Made in America team is on it. Wait to see what we found. Okay, I think we got good news coming. Thank you, David.